quiet on set. What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you. It's another Greenhouse Saga Sunday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna show you more of the greenhouse coming together, but we've got an entire half of this project not even started yet. That's right, folks. We're gonna talk about the building we've got going up or not going up, and some more issues that I ran into with the city. Okay, so the greenhouse is finally started. We're above ground. We've got the big, beautiful, shiny metal trusses up in the air and people swinging around on them like monkeys putting that sucker together. So I am excited. Eric and his crew crew who is well renowned in the Midwestern greenhouse building market is doing a fantastic job. Problem with that is this is only half of the project. You see I have another building going up next to it. Now look, the greenhouse is where the bulk of the cash and the bulk of my money is going, but I do have to have a building next to it because frankly I need an office away from my house. Josh, besides needing a haircut, also needs an office. And the man you don't see very often, but who is the secret ninja behind the scenes? My man Andrew also needs a place to sit and chop, slice, and dice all the wonderful videos that we bring to you. So I need a building, an air-conditioned unit next to the greenhouse that will actually house my team and my dream while the plants are growing in the greenhouse next to us. So the greenhouse is being built, but while the greenhouse is being built, I'm still waiting on the building to go up. Let me explain. All right, you gotta have a clear vision, okay? I gotta give a shout out to one of my YouTube subscribers, my man Javier out in Cali, for putting together this graphic way early in the game so I could actually represent to everybody what I'm trying to do with it. So half of my vision, the greenhouse is going, but the building is not. It's frustrating to me. Why is it frustrating to me? The building arrived in early September. I did not get a building permit until like two months later. And even after I get the building permit, I still can't start working on the building. You see, here is the problem. I have to do everything according to the book, okay? This is a B1. That means I can have people open. But as the lessons and the scars that I learned from Fail.0, you gotta do everything right. You gotta have engineered prints, blah, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. The original building was designed to be 24 feet wide by 36 feet long. The greenhouse is 35.5 feet long. The problem is the giant greenhouse 2.0 piers I paid too much for actually are in the exact location where the giant poles are supposed to go down in the wonderful pole barn, okay? So now we have to either re-engineer it or make the building bigger itself. I didn't know all this when I ordered the building. Frankly, maybe I didn't let the builder know that this was gonna be a commercial job. Regardless, this didn't happen. So. Back in September, a bunch of 24 foot long posts are being delivered to my property. Guess what? Those 24 foot long posts need to go down six feet into the ground. Six feet into the ground on a 20 foot tall building leaves you at only 18 feet. The next size up, 30 foot long posts. What do I have on the property? A bunch of 24 foot long posts. What do I need? 30 foot long posts. What does that mean? More cash, baby, more cash out of Dustin's hands. But even if I get the 30 foot long posts, I'm not out of the woods. Here's the other problem. When we put those massive piers down, now the building can't actually be erected directly next to the already existing, already rolling, already getting built greenhouse, okay? So these long, 30 foot long posts have to be put outside or inside of the building. So after many discussions with my man Brandon, we decide, okay, we need to bring this building out and actually make it bigger, going from a 36 foot long footprint to a 39 or almost 40 foot long footprint. The problem with that is I don't have approvals from the city to do that. You have a final development plan. That's your final development plan and how you're going to do it. That's going to be the final deal. This is not in the scope of what is agreed to and signed off on by yours truly and the city of Nicholasville. So I'm worried because I think I have to go back in front and get some sort of a variance or an easement or something like that. So. I don't know what I don't know. I'm having Brandon be in charge. We get the building inspector, the evil, actually awesome building inspector, out onto the property to explain the situation. And I want to point out something here. 
I'm an impatient dude, okay? In the words of my man Nasty Nas, time is money when it comes to mind taking in blood. The wood has been sitting on the property since September. And now I find out that wood is not gonna work. So I'm thinking, all right, cool. The original design of the building's not gonna work. All right, whatever, we need to get engineered prints. Yeah, I've gone through that rub. Still don't got the building going up. And now we're gonna make it bigger. And now I have to go back in front of the city. This is three strikes I'm dealing with, with putting up the building. All the while, the greenhouse is rolling up fine. Okay, so I'm so frustrated with this that the company, and maybe it's my fault because I'm GC in my first and potentially last job, but the building company does not know how to get this done. So we have to go back in front of the building inspector to get this done. All the while, the greenhouse is flying up. I gotta put you in my mindset at this point. Frankly, I'm more pissed off than a skunk botia. Wait, did Dustin just actually talk about a fish for a change? Yeah, I'm angry. Cause I've been staring at wood that I paid for to get dropped on my property back in September. The building still hasn't been erected. All the while the greenhouse is going up, flying up fast. The original design won't work. I have to get engineered prints, which somehow the building company can't come up with easily, even though supposedly they do 100 buildings a year. I have to replace the wood. I have to get engineered prints, and I have to get an entirely new design, expanded design, out past my big oversized piers, looked at by the city of Nicholasville. Okay, I'm frustrated, I'm angry, and I tell them straight up, I told Brandon on Friday, I'm like, look, dude, I got this meeting set with Monday, you're going to be there. You're going to talk to the building inspector about what we're trying to do and how we're trying to get this building finally erected. If he says it's a no-go or I got to go and get a variance or anything like that, I tell him straight up, I'm finding a new builder because obviously this company does not have the competency to actually get this done. I'm better off cutting my losses and finding somebody new to come and build it. Meanwhile, I got this whole like fish tank thing going on. I know like sometimes I'm supposed to like set up fish tanks and people like me making videos about it and that's kind of like something that I do. And the wonderful and almighty Newport Aquarium, the number one aquarium in the US according to USA Today poll a while back, hits me up and's like, yo man, we would like for you to work on one, two, three, four, five aquariums with them. They're doing the Mekong tank, the Amazon River tank, and I'm doing an all new Congo tank for them. They're hitting me up and they want me to get with them and go up there and set up my first 900 gallon aquarium. I've been giving a lot of sneak peeks on that on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram or Facebook for that matter, we're doing a lot more over there because those platforms actually like me, unlike this one right here. Go ahead and follow us over on Instagram real quick and you'll get to see some of the clips of the 900 gallon which is coming up soon. So I'm trying to get a building built while I'm trying to build the biggest aquarium of my life. Fun times for D, huh? And I do want to point out a strategy here, which I was willing to come through on. You got to push people all in sometime. I'd love to get your comments on this. But yeah, that Friday I told him, I was like, look, dude, if this meeting doesn't go good on Monday and he says I have to get some sort of variance or this idea that we're having here in this beautiful ficus here, isn't gonna work. I told him, I was like, look, tell your boss, dude, I'm finding somebody new to build this project. At this point, I've got the money already invested in the wood. I don't need to pay them until the building is erected. I'm gonna find somebody else to do it if they can't do it. And I think it was a good move because they need to know I'm pissed and this does need to get done. God forbid, we've been waiting on it for two months. We go out there, the building inspector shows up just in time. This is Brandon's show, and I hope he's sweating at this point, frankly, because it's been ridiculous how long it's taken to get the building. But greenhouse is rolling, no problem. Brandon's out there, he's meeting with the building inspector with the engineered prints in hand, explaining what we're gonna do and how we're gonna get this thing erected. Both bigger than originally planned and deeper down than originally designed. Just wanted to make sure we didn't need any other any other the only thing we plans. need is all right so let me ask you this how big can we go with the building because i gotta pay an engineer to redesign it oh it's a two and a half feet thing he says, <laughs> Dean, he says Dean, two and a half is cool Dean said he's cool with that and all right any more you need more front well then so, it was 4 9 30 all right yeah I'm exactly good. <laughs> I'm proceed wait, i'm just waiting on a sham for the um for the thank you mike hey right, guys what do you think dude i think it's looking good yeah not bad Come along. It'll be cool. A lot of tanks, huh? What's that? A lot of tanks. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for coming out, brother. <laughs> if we had the 30 foot poster, we would be going ahead. Yeah. All right, sir. I'm heading to Richmond. Cool. Go to Richmond. See you, man. Have a go. Cool. All right. Hey, so let me know today or tomorrow the timetable on you guys coming out because I got to get everybody else in low. So, hey, high level. You guys think you can get this built, not this week, but next? All right, so aside from these guys killing it, um, I just came out here. So Dean said, he might call Dean, 
and was like, yo, hey, he wants to make his building two and a half foot bigger. Uh, he could have been a weenie. This is what could have happened, all right? And this is the worst case scenario, worrying about things you can't control. He could have said, A, you're gonna need new foundation prints for this new building. You're gonna put it six foot down in the ground deeper. You're gonna need new engineered prints for it. He could have said that. He also could have said, B, you gotta go in front of the Board of Adjustments, which I'm a pro at at this point. He could have said, you gotta go back in front of the Board of Adjustments because you're going outside of the final development scope because like, I'm going two foot more this way and a foot and a half on that way. He didn't do that. Now I gotta go back to banks. You hear engineers, you hear money leaving the wallet. So I gotta go to banks and say, yo, I need you to make this design uh, a slightly bit bigger. Hopefully they'll be nice to me with that. But um, that's a little bit more money, but I'm getting a slightly larger building. So that's kind of cool. And um, we are moving forward. <laughs> Make sure that it's square. That way when you put the panel in there, the, the greenhouse ain't twisted or any the panel's gonna twist. Right now it could be kind of twisted? It could be twisted. That's okay. what the, these ah, all okay. the braces on. I so we'll you. pull from like from the very top down here to the bottom and exit i got you and make sure we got the same dimension that way we we'll, we can tweak it if we need to and then after that we can uh we can frame the side walls both side walls if we want guillotine to. style we can do that work oh, on the roof them. system i mean it's just it's so so probably work on maybe work on that side wall because we got a lift coming later this evening and everything's high if you get a lift, it's a lot better. You sure. Know, working up high, you can yeah. move around a little easier. So you're gonna got a lift coming later today. Yep. Yep. And you're gonna do sidewalls today, or is probably that... maybe start framing on them some. Yeah. What time do you think you be doing that? Uh, probably after lunch. After lunch, hear that? Yeah. And then the roof will be when the ceiling, manana. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll start working on putting uh, like the gutter rail and some bars on and like the ridge gutter, uh, stuff like that. Well, let me get moving. So I'm gonna have him out here after lunch and watch some of these sidewalls. Why the am I not gonna be able to watch that live? And you'll notice that you're actually missing some of the roof panels going up. That's because yours truly and Andrew are up at the Newport simultaneously filming the 900 gallon aquarium going down at the Newport Aquarium. If I could have any job in the world, what would it be? Miss part of my greenhouse going up because I'm doing a 900. Things could be worse. Do me a favor, folks. Hit the like button, subscribe button, share if you care, and drop me a comment on what you think about 2.0, baby. Guillotine style. Tank on. <laughs>